Well, I had an interesting morning this morning. Rocked up to the back paddock and as we thought, the deer were roaring their heads off. Okay, holy shit, what size is he? Hey? Is he worth it or not? One spiker come down, we sized him up and it wasn't worth shooting. So we watched him for about seven minutes, I think the camera said. Didn't even know we were there and then he just trotted off into the distance. And then he kept roaring. The big stags out roaring but still wouldn't come out. And then we heard a bush break behind us. And then this happened. Turned around, there he was, standing there. Quickly let off a call, and oh, within seconds he was on his way to check it out. He went down, went and got a bit of meat off him. The bigger stags are still roaring, the shot didn't worry him. So we're gonna go back either this afternoon or in the morning and see if we can get one of them big fellas to come out. We come up the top here this afternoon for a bit of a glass. We usually see deer out on these flats here. But last night, there was no wind at all, it was real still. And we we're getting roars from the top of that ridge line over there. So in the morning, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up on the top of that ridge line. And on the other side, the tree line goes down, it stops, it's like a wall. And then there's flats. And what they do is the deer go and feed on the flats of a night time and as soon as the sun comes up like within maybe 10 minutes they already start pushing back up into the tree line like once they go in there you'll never get them out so we're going to get up before before the sun even comes up and we'll sit on the ridge line until we get a bit of light and we can see what we're doing then we'll work our way down and we'll just sit in that sheer tree line and watch them on the flats and hopefully the wind's in our favour and they'll they'll push up to us. That'll be an easy, easy hunt, but it's a bit windy now, I can't hear anything. They were there last night, so I think that's a good place to start anyway. Let's see if we can bag one.
So we're about 10 minutes into the hunt, pulled up on top of this ridge line, have a bit of a glass over the flats and the first thing I set my eyes on was this huge stag. He's a bit too far away to count how many points he had, but his rack was clearly visible even without the binoculars. So he sat there and watched him for a little bit and noticed he had a fair few does with him. So he watched him. We ended up planning a way that we could get around him without spooking him and we moved in for a closer look. So we took our time, finally got close enough to take a shot. Dad got set up, I ranged it in, it was 150 yards, which was perfect. He loaded the gun, raised it up, ready to take a shot, and couldn't see anything out of the scope. What's that? Because we'd been hiking in that long grass and all the dew had got on the scope, it was fogged up, couldn't see anything out of it. So we started to panic, tried wiping it and clearing it with our shirts. That didn't work because everything else was soaked because we'd been crawling through the grass. Then we tried to get tissues out of the bag, but the more movement that we made, the more the does looked up. So by now, the stag was moving away. We had 30 pairs of eyes on us. So it just wasn't going our way. The only thing we could do is watch as the stag just disappeared towards the tree line. We couldn't do anything while the does were watching us, so we just had to sit there and wait for an opportunity to move closer. So by now the stag had gathered all his does and he was well and truly at the tree line. We're only seconds away from losing him for good so dad moved in a bit closer and without ranging it, he took a shot.
So we watched as two massive stags and about 20 does come flying out of the tree line. I was paying close attention to that big stag, watching him, waiting for him to fall down, trip and stumble. So we got the kill, but watched him for a while and he just kept running off into the distance chasing the does. So turns out it was a clean miss. Curiosity got the better of me and arranged it in, arranged the tree line after it all happened and it was 320 metres the shot which that's a big shot on the best of days let alone a rough shot with a fogged up scope there's nothing we can do about it now but it's a bit disappointing we didn't get a kill come so close and ended up empty handed I guess that's what gives us the motivation to go back and do it all again so till next time guys Catches on the next one. Stay tuned.